He's one of the oldest players ever drafted into the NFL. Whatever happened to Brandon Whedon? In high school, Whedon was the starting quarterback at Edmond Santa Fe High School. He led the team to the state semifinals and was the team MVP. He was named All-State in football, but was also named All-State in baseball and would be drafted out of high school in the 2002 MLB draft in the second round to the Yankees. Playing in the minors, but after the 2003 season would be traded to the Dodgers, again playing in the minors. But his final season of professional baseball would be in 2006. He wanted a new start, so... In 2007, Whedon enrolled at Oklahoma State. And in his first two seasons, he got pretty much no playing time as he was backing up Zach Robinson. But once Zach Robinson graduated, his final two seasons were phenomenal. In fact, in 2011, he broke a series of Oklahoma State University records, such as passing yards per season with 4,727, total offense per season at 4,625, completed passes per season at 408. The list goes on and on. But let's not forget, he had incredible talent at the time at wide receiver in Justin Blackman. I mean, Justin Blackman was just amazing. And at 28 years old, following his final college season, Whedon would be drafted 22nd overall in the 2012 NFL Draft to the Browns. And while he may not have started off in the most ideal situation, had a rough time in the NFL. He would play for the Browns, Cowboys, Texas Titans, and lastly again the Texans in 2018. He then did some broadcasting, has his own foundation, and dabbles in investments. 